The Arthrex DX FiberTac is a small, soft suture anchor that can be inserted with a 1.35 mm drill hole. The DX FiberTac comes preloaded with a number one fiber wire suture and needles attached, perfect for usage in open procedures. Measuring about one centimeter from the distal tip of the fibula, utilize the FiberTac drill guide and a 1.35 mm K wire to create a bone tunnel. The drill should be inserted to the automatic stop at the back of the drill guide, as shown. Keeping the drill guide in place, the FiberTac anchor is inserted and impacted until the handle is flush with the drill guide. Remove the suture release tab, needle protector, and suture from the anchor body, as shown. The open slot in the guide allows for easy removal of the sutures from the drill guide. After removal of the drill guide, the anchor is initially set in the bone by pulling back on the sutures as depicted. This firmly sets the anchor in the bone. Next, this process is repeated for the second anchor in the Brostrom Repair Construct. The second anchor should be placed about 2 cm from the distal tip of the fibula. After firmly setting the second anchor in the bone, the internal brace augmentation is performed. Prepare the talus by drilling with a 3.4 mm drill and 4.75 mm tap on the non-articulating surface of the talus at a 30 to 45 degree angle into the body of the talus as to not aim toward the joint space. Drill parallel to the bottom of the foot. Insert the preloaded 4.75 mm swivel lock and fiber tape into the tailor hole and pass the fiber tape through the ATFL. Next, utilizing the number one fiber wire sutures and needles from the fiber tack anchors, proceed to pass the sutures through the soft tissue and tie them down to the fibula to complete the Brostrom procedure. Finally, measure 15 mm from the distal tip of the fibula and proceed to drill with a 3.4 mm drill and 3.5 mm tap to prepare the bone tunnel for the 3.5 mm swivel lock anchor. Insert the fiber tape sutures from the preloaded 4.75 mm swivel lock anchor into the eyelet of the 3.5 mm swivel lock anchor. Place the tip of the anchor to the origin of the fibular tunnel. A small curved hemostat may be introduced under the fiber tape to aid in tensioning or utilize a marking pen to note the initial tension that should be set upon insertion. While keeping the foot in a neutral position and slight eversion, mallet the swivel lock handle until the screw comes into contact with the fibula. Final fixation is achieved by inserting the swivel lock anchor until it is flush with the bone. The excess fiber tape suture can be cut and the repair is complete.